Hello everybody and welcome to your AP environmental science navigation video. Um, so in this video I'm just going to show you how to navigate your Canvas course. It's going to be really simple um, and especially since you guys have probably used Canvas a lot especially in the past year but I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page and give you some helpful hints in case um, you need them for our Canvas course. So when you log into Canvas, of course you have your dashboard. You guys should have about four, maybe five classes, but I do have a lot more than that. So I'm gonna scroll down to our AP class and open that up. So you guys will see your, or our AP environmental science course with the little world on it. And I'm gonna open this up. And then this is what we will see on our home page. So as always, on the left-hand side, we do have some just quick links. Um, so when we click home, it will bring you to this home page. Then of course we have announcements. I'll try to update announcements weekly just with any important stuff that might be coming up. You can see your grades. Um, now I will say your grades in Canvas will not necessarily be an accurate reflection of what your overall grade is. So when you are trying to figure out what your current percentage in the course is, always go by PowerSchool. Um, I just want to throw that out there because I know a lot of you guys are very conscious of your grades and your GPA. So always go by what's in PowerSchool. But you can see feedback for um, assignments here. Um, there's also a modules button. Um, your mastery tracker will be doing assessments through Mastery Connect this year. And also Macmillan Learning. This one is really important for you guys. Um, we will establish and make sure that you guys can access your textbook once we get into um, our course, once we're together in person. But this Macmillan Learning tab, I'm gonna go ahead and open it really quickly. This is your access to your online textbook, okay? We do not have physical textbooks, and you guys do have to do, oops, did not mean to hit, hit sapling, not make melon content. Um, you guys do have a, a bit, quite a bit of reading to do in this course, just because we are an AP course and you do have to know the textbook. So you guys will have access to your textbook 24 seven via Canvas, okay? And we'll find that through this Macmillan Learning um, button. So it's there. Once you guys get established and you get signed in, you'll be able to bring it up and you'll be able to navigate your textbook. We'll do textbook navigation together in class but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that your textbook is located in the Macmillan Learning button in your Canvas homepage, okay? So Macmillan Learning is where you will find your um, textbook. Um, there are a couple other ones that I will make visible to you. You can't see them right now, but your discussions, once we start um, class discussions, and we will do those quite a bit, um, you'll be able to see that as well. Okay, so onto our home page, we see just kind of this welcome banner. That's not a button, it doesn't do anything, it's just kind of there for decoration. And then we have these buttons below. So these buttons are going to be important because they do contain basically the important information of the class. I'm not going to click on all of them because you guys can do that and explore. Um, but there's a get to know me, so if you want to know a little bit more about me, um, just my information, then my contact info, our syllabus. This video will be under this button right here. Um, this one is important. I will actually open this button. This is a quarter one assignments page. Okay. Now what this is, is going to be a running list of all of your assignments for the quarter. Now there's nothing there yet because we haven't started the quarter, um, but once we do, there will be a list of all of your assignments, when they were assigned, when they're due for full credit, um, and also the assignment type. There are some new assignment types this year that we'll talk about in terms of the grading policy, but all of that will be laid out for you, okay? So this is gonna be a really important page to keep up with because you know, if you're missing something in PowerSchool, so let's say that you miss an assignment or you forget to turn an assignment in and 
it's missing in PowerSchool and you're not quite sure which one it is, you can always come back to this page and see the assignments that were supposed to be turned in for, for points, okay? So that one is important. I would check that often. There's a button for our rules, policies of the classroom, the grading policy in particular, I'm sure you guys are interested in. And then also we will be keeping notebooks in this class. And the notebooks are really going to be for you guys just to have a, um, a physical set of notes. I find that students, when they write their notes, they tend to remember it a little bit better. So we will be keeping an interactive notebook. That will be the bulk of what we do on paper, okay? Um, you guys are used to doing things digitally, so a lot of our assignments, you guys will actually turn it on Canvas, but I do like to keep it kind of old school and let you guys do your notes by hand. So I'll keep a running list of the notes that should be in there and should be in order, and I will do quick checks um, every once in a while of these notebooks. So we can see here that your first page will be the syllabus that I will hand you guys on the first day of school. Okay, and then those are the, the main buttons. Um, with all the important information. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to let me know. So now that that is out of the way, I'm going to show you where we're going to find our lessons for the year. So this homepage has all the important information, but every single day you guys will need to bring your Chromebook so that we can click for our lessons. So we're going to have our lessons online, meaning that you guys will access them through your Chromebook while we're in class together. So when you click on this button, it will take you to the lessons page. Okay. Now I have two sets of buttons here. The first is going to be the weekly buttons. So this just makes it easy for you. So when you come into class, let's say you come in on a Tuesday, um, you know it's Tuesday, you can pull, bring this up, click on the Tuesday button, and you know that you'll go directly to your lesson for Tuesday, okay? At the same time, your lessons will be simultaneously archived in whatever unit we're in, okay? So we have our um, nine units here on the bottom, so we're going to be in unit zero to start. So even though they'll be linked here in the weekly buttons or the weekday buttons, they'll also be linked in the lesson as well. So I can show you what I mean by that. So you guys will come in on Wednesday, which is um, the 25th, so August 25th, or my A day, my B day, you guys will be Thursday. But you come in, it's Wednesday, you guys will be able to click into our lesson buttons and then click on the Wednesday button and open your lesson for the day, okay? And you can see at the top it says unit zero, lesson one, and then it just has a list of everything that we are going to do for the day, as well as your homework. Okay, this is how it will be laid out for you, and your lessons will never go away. Okay, I'm not going to delete lessons. You guys will always have access to see what we did for the day, always have access to, you know, your notes, anything that you might need. Okay, so that makes it easy so that for the week of, you know what current lesson we're on. Now, on Friday afternoon, after we go through, you know, the last lesson for the week has been taught, I will unlink the lessons for the week, okay? So after Friday's over and that lesson has concluded, I will remove the links so that the next week's lessons can be linked for the week. So what happens to that lesson after I unlink it? Well, it just gets stored in whatever unit we were doing. So like we said, that Wednesday lesson was unit zero, lesson one. Well, if you need to go back and look at it for any reason, you know you can just go into the Unit Zero button and you can click on Lesson One and it will be right there. So it's the same lesson that was originally linked on Wednesday, but now we're on to the next thing and you need to go back and look at it for whatever reason, you can certainly do that, okay? All of your lessons will be archived and this is going to make it especially great for when we go to study for our AP exam in May of 2022. You guys will have access to absolutely everything we've done. Okay? And also, if you're like me and you like to know what, what's going on for the day, like I'm very much a plan ahead person, I like to see it, um, you will be able to see exactly what we're going to do. Okay? So it kind of takes the stress away, um, like the mystery of what we're doing for the day. Okay, and that's really it, right? So a few simple clicks, I'll show you one more time how to access it. 
and then that'll be it. So again, if you want to access your lessons from the main page, you just scroll to the bottom, click here for lessons, and then you click on the day of the week for the current week, or if you need a previous lesson, you just go into the unit and they will be in order. Okay, so easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? All right, so that's it. If you guys have any questions for me at all or you have trouble navigating your Canvas page, just let me know in class or shoot me an email or a text and I will be sure to help out with that. I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in class.